Interstate 78. Yeah. All right, Interstate 78 is our very first entrance into New York City. Yay. And also, it is the only two-digit interstate within the city limits of New York, which is pretty interesting. So let's take a look at the route of I-78. I-78 begins near Jonestown, Pennsylvania, in rural Pennsylvania, outside of... Harrisburg, and it goes more or less directly to New York. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, go ahead and give us a like. And if you really dig it, why not subscribe? Hey, first we're going to talk about eastbound I-78. And first, we're actually going to look at the end of I-83 in the Harrisburg area. 81 Carlisle State College, 81 South, and 81 North to I-78 Hazleton. And Allentown are co-signed here. This is reflected in mileage signs as well, where we see mileage for Allentown and Hazleton. And now we have the split of I-81 and I-78. 81 signed for Hazleton for reasons. You know, Wilkes-Barre is just a little bit further up the road. Scranton, right there. Why Hazleton? Only PennDOT knows. And 78 for Allentown. Not too surprisingly, 78 is signed for Allentown throughout this stretch. Here we meet I-476, and I-78 is signed for just New Jersey, which is a little weird, but we don't stick with that. This is just kind of a one-off New Jersey sign. It's kind of weird too. 476, we don't get control cities for. We just get PA Turnpike and 56 Airport. Now we are on 78 East Bethlehem. Mm. I mean, Bethlehem's kind of big, but it's also within the Allentown metro area. In fact, it's the city right next to Allentown, so I don't feel like Bethlehem is the way to go here. And on mileage signs, we get Bethlehem and Easton, you know, because that's the edge of the world. You don't want to sign anything further than 15 miles away. Here's our exit for Bethlehem. And we are now signed on 78 East Easton, you know, because that's the end, you know, right? There's no more important cities further down the road on 78 at all. Better sign Easton, Pennsylvania. We do get one New York City sign, and it's only 76 miles away, and we're still signing Easton. Here in Easton, we do get a sign for New York City, so that's cool. And as we near the New Jersey border, we get a sign for Phillipsburg, the first city in New Jersey, now that we can't sign any more Pennsylvania cities because we're out of them, and New York on the bottom line. We cross into New Jersey, and as is the Jersey way, we get no Welcome to New Jersey sign, at least that I could find. We do get kind of a weird font now that we're in New Jersey, and we get Clinton, Bedminster, and Newark on the sign. Seems like they're kind of cutting out something important here. We don't get a Welcome to New Jersey, but we do get a Welcome to Phillipsburg, so... Yay? And once in New Jersey, we are generally signed 78 East Newark. So, this is a little tough. Newark is the biggest city in New Jersey, so it seems like a sensible control city, but then you have the biggest city in the country just a few miles past it, so... I don't know. I kind of understand New Jersey signing Newark. I think probably Newark, New York would be the way to go here. Sign both of them is probably the best answer. Here, for some reason, we do get 7822 New York, but we are right back to Newark. Don't worry, Newark fans. We are still heading toward you. And you can see we stick with this Newark thing, so they're a lot more serious about it than, say, Illinois is about signing Joliet on 55. We get Newark on all the overhead signs here. Now we're meeting 287, which is signed for Morristown and Somerville. Seems like there's probably better control cities they could use for that too. And still 78, Newark. 78 is now going to split into local and express. As we split, we are now signed East 78 Newark for local, because all exits, and East 78 Express, 78295, Holland Tunnel, New York City. So that makes perfect sense. That's pretty well done there. We're on the local lanes here, so we are on East 78 to the Garden State Parkway and Newark. Here's our exit for the Garden State Parkway, and you can see the two different carriageways here as we have local and express. And we see the local express thing going on here as well. Here's our local, Newark exits are listed, and an exit for the express, East 78 to New York City, Holland Tunnel. Here's our exit for the Newark Airport. 
lovely place. And now we have E78 Holland Tunnel toll in our last exit before the toll is coming up. This is a bit confusing. I thought this was all just one big exit with all these roads, but we'll see right ahead that there is more to this exit. This is just exiting off of the express onto the local. And now we do see it. Here is our last free exit, 1-9 to Port Newark and Elizabeth. We're still on 78 to 95. We go through the toll booth and we are going to be on the New Jersey Turnpike. And now we get 78 East Holland Tunnel, 95 South Trenton. Yeah, you know, Philly, it's not a big place. 95 North, nothing. You know, cause there's no place 95 North is going that anybody would know of at all, for sure. May as well leave that blank. And now we are crossing Newark Bay into Jersey City. We get our nice list of Jersey City exits as we come here. Get a nice look at the New York skyline. Start spreading the news. And we are now leaving the New Jersey Turnpike. This isn't the New Jersey Turnpike you think of when you think New Jersey Turnpike. That's the one that 95 runs on. This is just a different branch of the New Jersey Turnpike. And now it is always 78 East Holland Tunnel. Get a nice look. Uh, we saw this at the top of the episode. This is actually the Jersey City skyline more than it is the New York City skyline, which is quite a nice skyline in and of itself. And now we end up on stoplights, yet this is still I-78. We are now here in the Breezewood of New Jersey, and we see lots and lots of stoplights. This is actually quite a bit more substantial than Breezewood, so it's kind of weird that you hear about Breezewood so much and not so much Jersey City. We're now approaching the Holland Tunnel pretty soon here, and here we go toward the tunnel. Now we enter into the Holland Tunnel, and we see this carriageway is two lanes with a double yellow line because you are not supposed to change lanes once you're in the Holland Tunnel. Start spreading the news. And we exit, and we are in New York City, right in the heart of Manhattan. Pretty cool exit here. We've got a few exits on the very short stub of I-78 within Manhattan. These are not mileage exit numbers. These are numerical exit numbers because there's not three miles of I-78 in Manhattan. There's, there's less than a mile, I'd say. We do get a Welcome to New York sign, and that is New York State. We see the New York State insignias here. Also, kind of weird that New York State is using the I Heart N why thing. I always thought that was a New York City thing. You see that t-shirt, you don't think New York State for sure. And here we have an exit for downtown, the last exit, and Canal Street is where the final main line, as much as it is, of I-78 will go to. And here is the very end, a stoplight at Canal Street. So let's take a look at westbound I-78 now. I'm gonna start here from West Avenue, which was the West Side Highway, because this is what I took the one time that I went to the Holland Tunnel. The one time I drove through it, I drove down this street. We can see just over there to the left, there is a sign saying Holland Tunnel, turn left, and so we shall. And now on this street, we see West 78, although the 78 is kind of blurred out. Holland Tunnel, keep left. And here we get a nice overhead sign right here in downtown Manhattan. And we get a Holland Tunnel, New Jersey sign here. So New Jersey is the first control city for I-78 which kind of makes sense. That's what New York signs every road going to New Jersey. It's always just signed New Jersey. Here we weave around to the kind of complicated entrance to the Holland Tunnel. And here we approach the actual tunnel itself. And as I said, you got to stay in your lane, no weaving in the tunnel. And we go down below street level and we will soon be in the tunnel and on the way to New Jersey. Here we are on the other side coming out of the Holland Tunnel. And we get a nice welcome to Jersey City sign, but no welcome to New Jersey sign. Just Jersey City itself. And here we are going the other way. These are both one-way streets, these arterial streets that I-78 goes down. And we can see 78 and New Jersey Turnpike keep right. And here we get US 19 on the left side, Turnpike on the right side. So they don't say 78 here, they just call it Turnpike. Once we're up a little bit though, we do see New Jersey Turnpike 2, 78 and 95, and the Pulaski Skyway is the other way. The one time I did the Holland Tunnel, I actually took the Pulaski Skyway route because it's free and because it's cool. But we are going to be taking the New Jersey Turnpike. Here we go back into the toll booth, and we are now on West 78 Newark. 295. Newark going westbound is absolutely great. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't mind if they used it in Manhattan itself, although I understand using New Jersey works because you go to Jersey City first, and that's a big city in its own right. Great sign here in Newark, Allentown, Harrisburg. 
So we're getting signed beyond the end of I-78. Wow, and look at this. A welcome to New Jersey sign. Never thought I'd see the day. Thanks, New Jersey. Here we cross the Newark Bay once again and end up in Newark once we are across that. Paytol, one mile, 78 West Newark, one mile. I don't know why we're getting 78 West Newark one mile when we're already on 78 West. And going this way, we get 95 North New York. We didn't get a 95 anything going the other way. And we get 95 South Trenton still because New Jersey hates Philly, I guess. And 78 West Newark and 95 South Trenton. Now we exit the New Jersey Turnpike and get back onto the free road. And we see this is pretty complicated. We're going back into local and express, and it looks like we're gonna be on 78 Clinton. And we are 78 West Clinton, that famous town that everybody knows of 2000 people. Yeah, great choice. And they stick with it for going to uh, local and express. Always we're having 78 West Clinton. Now meeting 287, we get West 78 Phillipsburg. I don't think we've even made it to Clinton yet. Actually, this is on 287. And yes, West 78 Phillipsburg. Keep left. This is the actual Clinton exit. They skipped Clinton ahead before and Phillipsburg. Why Phillipsburg? There are places past New Jersey. Phillipsburg's just the last little town in New Jersey. That's the only reason that they are signing it, which is so provincial and so insane. Ah, New Jersey and PA both. Now we're at the very last exit in Phillipsburg, the last exit in New Jersey. We don't get a 78 Allentown, we get 78 West Pennsylvania. Because you literally don't have a choice at this point, you have to go to Pennsylvania because it's the last exit in New Jersey. So dumb. Put Allentown on there. Uh, right here we cross the river into Pennsylvania. And we get our Welcome to Pennsylvania sign. And at interchanges getting on to I-78, we see New York City, Bethlehem, Allentown. So we're getting Allentown at least. I guess that's all that matters. Perfect sign here, Bethlehem 9, Allentown 15, and Harrisburg 98. And we see in Bethlehem, it is West 78, Allentown. As well it should be. And once we are outside of Allentown, we're meeting 476, we are now on 78, West Harrisburg. So that's awesome. That is the right pick. That is beyond the end of I-78, but that is what it should be. And we see it interchanges. It is also Harrisburg, Harrisburg 68. And at the junction with I-81, we get 81 South Harrisburg, 81 North Hazleton. And this will end I-78. We don't get a 78 N sign. All right, let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be for I-78. In my opinion, I-78 should be east should be signed Allentown and New York because, I mean, New York is the reason I-78 exists. It's so important for I-78 traffic. It should be signed from the jump. And I understand signing Allentown too, but it should be dual control there. And then Newark, New York after Allentown. No Bethlehem, no Easton. And then finally just New York. Westbound, I like signing New Jersey the way that New York City does it. I think that's fine. Then West Newark is good. West Allentown and finally West Harrisburg. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. My name is Todd and I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys again next week when we talk about I-79. But until then, keep on trucking.